Oh boy, these are looking looking mighty schmexy if I say so myself. What's going on you guys? How you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys are having a good day today. Let me turn this light on real quick. Whoa. Really bad light. Anyway. So today I, I, I was kinda bored, you know. I was sitting I was sitting in my class and I'm like, you know, what can what can I do when I get home? Because I want to do photos, but I don't know what photos of what exactly. So I'm sitting there pondering, like, hmm. Then it came to me. I'm like, aha, I got it. So let me show you what I decided to do. Look at this, look at this. I found some, like, old, like, 22 shells. And I don't know what those are exactly. I just kind of found them. Anyway, and then I got, like, a paper bag, ripped it up, kind of put it around. Got the camera sitting. Look at this, look at this. Look, look right there. That's the lens cap. I'm balancing it on the lens cap. <laughs> but anyway, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of getting some like, I got my flashlight right here and I'm just kind of like light painting, you know? So it's like, I have all these lights turned off. I still need to cover up the window right there because the window's letting too much light in and it's not getting as dark as I want it to be. So I need to find something to cover that window up. And then what I'm doing is I'm just like, kind of like, I'll turn the flashlight on. I got a long exposure of like 10 seconds right now, probably. But once we close that, I'll probably crank it just a little bit more. But then I'm going to like, kind of like paint with the light, you know. And if you don't know what light painting is, it's pretty much, you just turn the light on and kind of move it around an object or whatever you want. And then since it's such a long exposure, the camera gets all that light and it just looks really, really cool. So that's what we're doing today. Be sure to stick around to the end because I need to talk to you guys about something very important that makes me very, very happy. But yeah, so let's just get on with it and I'll just, I'll just show you, yeah, you, you know the drill, we'll just go. I so I found a blanket and I'm going to hang it up in this window and hopefully it takes up, covers it up just enough to stop light from coming in. Because we want it as dark as possible in here. So hopefully this works. If not, I'll have to go find either another blanket or all something. But I'm pretty sure this will work. I'm thinking we'll probably need at least one more blanket. Probably two. I'm going to get two and see if that works. That will block it enough out because it's already looking like we got a little bit on the sides, but I mean, it's a whole lot better than having nothing, right? So let's give that a shot. Now, I'm not sure how much of this you'll be able to see, but if you can't, I'll just try and do it with the lights on. But what I'm gonna do is I've got the camera right here, and I'm just gonna be like painting, like take my flashlight and do like some fancy like thing like that, or circles, or like this, or just something kind of funny looking like that and what that'll do is it'll like put project different lights and shadow all over it and since we got the long exposure it'll collect all that and put it into a very very cool picture so I'm gonna turn the lights off now and then hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing but if not that that's the idea that's what I've got going so Kind of, I got a different light. This one is much bigger. Like, look at this. This is like a freaking my entire hand cut can barely cover that. Anyway, because this little one I had right here wasn't doing the trick. It was too small, not enough light. But this one is a honking tank, and it's working like a charm. All the way around. Oh my goodness! Who knew bullet shells? Casings, bullet casings, shells, casings, I don't know. Who knew that they could look so good in a picture? Oh my golly, but jigger all. Mmm, I think I found my new favorite photography thingy. 
not light painting. Yeah, I'm kind of, kind of digging it. Like, whoa. <laughs> These look so dope. I gotta just figure out this timing. Cause, oh boy, these are looking, looking mighty schmexy if I say so myself. Aight. <laughs> okay, so this is what it kind of turned into. We had, I took my watch off. Can't even see that. Run away. That's okay, we got a flashlight. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's the watch and there's the bullets. And I kind of just had a ripped up paper bag behind it to give it a little bit more like texture and stuff, you know, some depth because kind of matches the bullet. So yeah, did that. Ran and I got this honking flashlight thing. I mean, look at this thing, it's huge. Had to grab that because this little thingy wasn't quite what I needed. See, look at the difference. Look at that. That's huge. Yeah, because this wasn't putting out enough light. This was putting out plenty, and I, yeah, it worked out quite well. Yeah, so, now I'm eating, going, come on, look at me. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to go throw them up on the computer, and then maybe edit them, maybe. I don't know. I don't need to, but I, I might, you know, just have some fun. Just, why not, you know? And then I'll throw them some up on the screen and be like, wah, 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 and show you all these cool photos. All right, guys, so I decided to edit them. So we're gonna be, I'm gonna throw them up onto Lightroom and then I'll throw you guys onto the computer and so y'all can see me edit these cool, really, really cool photos. Alrighty, so we made it into the computer. I, um, I kind of edited a photo and then I was like, oh, hey, I'm not recording. <laughs> Oopsies. So I, I, I already edited one, so that's, yeah, that's what it looks like. So I'm just gonna jump right into the next one and start from scratch again because... I made a preset, uh, where is it, uh, let me find it, a few moments later, light paint, there it is, look at that, that to that, that is super cool, I love it, wow, but first off we're just gonna go to the point, Curve and go bloop, and then we go bloop. There we go. Then we go to green. Oh, excuse me, my bad. We go. Oh, not that far. Not that. Mm, ah, steady right there. And we go right there. Perfect. That's what we like to see. And we bring this down. Not that much. Hold on. Calm down there, Captain. Captain Hook. Whoa. We could have it be purple. Just kidding. Calm down. Calm down, Zach. Calm down. There we go. Just like that. We got that figured out. Now we want to come down here to the work with these three colors. Because, wait, we could actually work with the green one a little bit too, can't we? I'm not seeing a difference, actually. Maybe this will give us. Nope, nothing. Nothing. Maybe this won't give us something. A few moments later. On camera, they looked like. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! really good and then I throw them on the computer I'm like oh dang Gina these look awesome and I'm just like you know I'll let it them because why the heck not I've got time and I want to have some fun and now they go from like a 10 out of 10 to like a 25 out of 10 I'm like yo bro this is oof, this is a next level photo wow alrighty there we go that is what I like to see folks now then Copy that. Control C over. Control V. Woo! That kind of looks kind of cool. We got the bullets up front out of focus, but we got the knife in focus in the back. I kind of dig that, honestly. Uh, but my knife is all dirty. Look at all those scuffs and scrapes. Funny story, I actually didn't buy this knife. I, I, I didn't steal it, and I didn't buy it. I was hanging outside, and I was just doing, just minding my own business, you know, just doing my own thing in our field. And I, I'm just walking and I hear a clink as I step. I'm like, ah, that can't be good. Something metal in the field. Uh-oh. So I lean over to pick it up. Pick it up. Whoa. Voice crack. you think I'd be over that by now. Anyway. 
And I pick it up, and I'm like, yo, hey, check it out. And I, it was this knife. I'm like, in the middle of my field. I'm like, calling dibs. It's mine. And so, yeah, that's how I came across this knife. I'm like, yo. And it's one of my nicer ones, too. So, that's a fun little story. Betcha. Betcha didn't know that now, did ya? Those photos were mm, pretty schmexy, if I say so myself. Was like, inside the camera, like, after I would take them, I'm like, oh. Doggy, those things look mighty fine. And then I saw them on the computer. I'm like, oh boy, they look even better than on the camera. Like, I didn't even know that was possible. But, yeah, so, all you photographers or just people that create stuff or do fun things, try new things. Try, if, if you read books, read a different genre. If you take photos, take photos of something different. Because, like, I was doing, like, product type stuff landscapes and people portraits and yes it is fun and yes i'm getting good at that but sometimes <clears throat> sometimes you just gotta get out of that bubble and just try something new and who knows it might work out it might not and in this case worked out pretty well I mean, mm -hmm. very very nice probably going to change some of those to my new background i'll have like i'll just rotate through like every day i'll get a new background probably yeah so that's that's my, my my thought for the day. Try something new. Try it. It'll be worth it. And on that note, thank you guys so 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 much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed watching it, be sure to leave a like down below. Just go <laughs> like it really hard. Just <laughs> just woo. Really like this video. Just thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and join us. We're almost at 50 subscribers. I cannot wait. My goal is to hit 50 by the end of the year. We can do that very easily. I know it. So, if you're not part of this fun little dank little family we've got here, subscribe down below. Come hang out with us. We have a jolly good time. Yeah. So, like, comment, subscribe. Comment something. Com How is your day? Comment that down below. Be like... I had a great day today, or, you know, it's been kind of a struggle, I'll be like, I'll, I'll reply to all of them, because there's only 45 of you, and I've got plenty of time, so drop something down below, and let's have a conversation, you know, deep thinking. And with that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.